Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am in, well, I'm at the Guanella Pass Trailhead um, here in Colorado. I'm here with my friend Ryan. You've seen him in other videos before. Here's my other friend Hunter back here. So this hike is about seven miles round trip. It takes about six to eight hours depending on how much you stop. Um, it's about 3,900 feet elevation gain and it's one of the easiest 14ers there are. Mount Beer stats 14,060 feet. So it's right there at the 14,000 mark. But it's by no means easy. It's definitely a challenge. And uh, I think we're gonna have a good day today. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. As you can see right there, that is called Sawtooth Ridge. We're not gonna be going over that. I think this one's Mount Evans, I could be wrong. So there's like a boardwalk here too, at the beginning of the trail. Evans Wilderness right now and it's funny they have all this man-made stuff here which I don't really agree with it should be wilderness area all right so we're about a mile into the hike uh, this is the wrong lens but if you look up there you can actually see little people up there and it, it goes all along that ridge we have a while to go we're probably only a mile into the hike this is the easy part but yeah, we're like, I think 11 or 12,000 feet right here, so I'm breathing heavy. All right, so we're about a mile and a half in the hike, and as you can see, the view around here is just awesome. Um, we're going slow, a little bit winded. We're, we're still not even at the hard part of the hike. This is the easy first mile and a half. Here's an awesome view. As you can see, it's pretty epic. Up here you can see the trail continues on up the ridge, right up. That's a false summit. Here it's that's past that, but yeah. All right, about two miles into the hike right now. Uh, it's, you know, slow going, air is thin. And I can see the trail, where it's headed, kind of zigzags that way, then that way, and then way up that way. And I think there's a, a tougher spot up in there somewhere, but that's the summit. You can see a few people up there. They look really tiny. All right, so usually on the trail, I like to bring Ambronite. This stuff is a complete meal in a in a bag um, I don't want to go too far into it but this stuff is awesome that's all it is that's an entire meal uh, if you're interested in buying some there is a discount code in the description um, if you check the description there's a discount code you get 25% off of this stuff it's awesome for hiking around and everything sorry about the wind I fill it up to the N or the I just pour it in and that's it. Shake it up and you got yourself a meal. It's just a lot easier than trying to cook and everything when you go on these hikes. Uh, you can always do whatever you want, but yeah, Ambernite. It's called Ambernite. It's awesome. All right, so at this point, we're at about 13,000 feet elevation. And uh, certainly not getting any easier to breathe. Got to take breathers every couple minutes. But I also noticed whether you stop or keep going, as soon as you start going, it's hard to breathe again. So you might as well just keep going. So, right here, 
here. That is the summit. Sorry about the wind. You probably can't even hear me. That is the summit up here. The trail continues up. Still have another 1,000 feet elevation gain to go. And we came from down this, we came from down there. Parking lot, parking lot's way out that way. And it's really windy up here, so I apologize for the, for the wind. But yeah, Ryan and Hunter are kind of way back there. I kind of got into my zone and I just kept going. So I'm not leaving them behind. I'm taking enough breaks that they'll catch up. But once you get walking, it's just you get into that zone, you don't want to stop. You know? If you're quiet, you can hear the marmots squeaking. If I can't get them on camera, I'll throw up a picture of them right here. They're just a little uh, mammal, kind of looks like a, I guess you'd call it like a mountain beaver or something. He's like a little uh, fuzzy little animal. They live up here in the high elevations and they make a little chirping sound and you can't hear them over me talking. I have the wrong lens in so I can't zoom in for you to find them. Anyway, the view up here is pretty awesome. Alright, here at 13,200 feet elevation, you can actually see the clouds starting to form. So this part of the hike is considered the hardest part of the hike. Um, it's right, I'd say like 13,400 feet is where we're at. Um, actually, let me check. Yeah, 13,372 feet. Let me show you guys. Right from there, up to the top of this thing, it's definitely, uh, taking a lot of breaks, you know, everybody, everywhere you look, everybody's just sitting down and everything. It takes a while, man. It does take a while. That's the summit right there. I found treasure. There's actually some trash up here that I've been seeing. I've been packing it out. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's always better to take stuff out with you than to leave it here. Almost there. That's Ryan right there. I waited up for him. He made it. All right, everyone. Ryan and I made it to the summit of Mount Bierstadt. Uh, Hunter actually turned around and went back to the truck. So we lost one of our guys, but it was definitely, it was an adventure. Awesome and day. it was a spur of the moment thing. Just yesterday, how did we even decide to do this? Did I, I don't know. Did I text you or something? You or? said something about getting an, another hike in before the season's over. Yeah. And I said, well, I'm off tomorrow. That was it. And I was like, that was all it took. <laughs> let's go do a 14er. So oh, fully this, unprepared. Yeah, yeah. This is my first 14er hiking up. It. I did hike Mount Evans and I went to the top of Pikes Peak, but you drive to the top. So they don't really count. This one you hike to the top. And it's um, supposedly one of the easier ones. And I would recommend it for anybody that's in somewhat good shape. Um, you gotta walk and take breaks, walk and take breaks. Uh, there's peop other people that are running up and down the thing. So it all depends on your, um, your abilities. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this hiking video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. I put out a new video every three days. Don't forget to check me out on social media and check out Ryan on social media as well. Links in the description, go follow Ryan. And uh, yeah, that's all we got for today. Good hike today, buddy. Sodi pop time. Sodi pop time. <laughs>